Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence and this is my channel about electric cars from the perspective of a first-time EV owner. Now even though electric cars have very little maintenance that needs to be done annually as compared to a gas-powered car, there's still some things that need to be done. Now two of those things can be easily done at home by yourself and you can save up to a couple hundred dollars. If you want to know exactly what they are and how to do them, stick around, I'll let you know in 10 seconds. When I had my last car, the Nissan Note, I discovered that I could change just the rubber portion of the wiper as opposed to changing the entire wiper blade. Now, not only did this allow me to save some money, but avoided me throwing things in the garbage that didn't have to go there. So I was happy to find out that on the top trim Nero EV, it has aero wiper blades that also allow you to change just the rubber portion. Now, you'll have to verify with the make and model of your car and call your dealership to see if you can also replace just the rubber portion, but on the top trim aero blade models of the Hyundai Onic Electric, the Hyundai Kona Electric, the Kia Soul EV, and the Kia Nero EV, you can do just that. Now, I'll show you step one. It's quite simple to do. And then I'll show you how to install just the little rubber blade and then reinstall the wiper on the car. To remove the wiper from your car, you have to start by raising the wiper arm. Just pull it up slightly and it should lock into place. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your hood is completely closed when you do this because the clearance between the arm and the hood is quite close and if the hood is up, it will scratch the paint when you raise the arm. So let me just put this down and show you how to remove the blade from the arm. Now your car may differ slightly. Some cars have different mechanisms where you have to push a little clip or there's a pin that has to be pushed. But in the case of the Nero EV, it's actually quite simple. You have to start by pulling up this little latch. This is what holds the wiper in place when it's on the car. Once this is raised like this, tilt the blade and pull down until it releases. Now make sure, you saw that I pulled quite hard, make sure that you don't jam it into the windshield and damage the windshield. Once that's done, twist and pull off. Now that you've got the wiper in your hands, bring it in the house and I'll show you how to change the blade. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's nice that some manufacturers will allow you to replace just the rubber portion of the blade as opposed to the entire wiper. Now it's up to you to verify with the manufacturer of your vehicle to see if this is something that's an option. You can just call your dealer and ask them if they have the rubber blade replacement as opposed to the entire wiper. Now, in my case, the Kia Nero, these are quite expensive. Now I called a dealer and the driver one is $38 for the aero blade and $30 for the passenger aero blade. That's quite a bit more than the regular wiper blades that are available for the Nero. Uh, but the nice thing is that the rubbers themselves are only 12 bucks. So for 24 bucks, I get fresh wipers every year and I have less of an impact on the environment because I'm not throwing out a ton of plastic, metal, and rubber. Now I'll show you how to replace these. It's quite simple, a little hard to show you up close on the camera because of the floppy rubber bit, but the replacement blade for the driver, and I'll put the part numbers in the description below, are essentially just a rubber strip. Now the rubber strip has a groove in it and it's got a little guide as well. Now I'll show you that up here. And you see it's got a groove at the top and a groove in the middle. Now I'll show you why in two seconds. This wiper blade has little teeth in the armatures that are what are holding this in. And there's a little metal bracket or a metal strip that goes on either side. Now it's only held in at one place. And in this particular case, it's on this end there's little teeth that basically bite into two little gaps and it can't slide forward or backward once it's inserted. So that's this here, right here. All of the other ones will slide freely and it'll allow you to slide it out. To pull the teeth out, all you have to do is pry the rubber There we go. So once you've done that, basically the whole thing will slide out. So you take the new wiper blade and you'll notice that on one side, I'll show that to you here, it's got a sort of an arrow shaped head. Now that's the end that gets retained by the clips and you'll see that there's a little notch with a little end stopper there and that's what prevents the blade from sliding out. Now, there are two grooves that go all the way down 
the top portion of this rubber blade and that is for these metal inserts. That's what gives the blade its rigidity and prevents it from falling out. So to stick that in, you basically line up the front end, drop it into the groove, all the way to the back, and if it doesn't slide in because it seems too short, just pull the rubber a little bit and it will slide in. And once that's done, then you just flip it around and do the other side. So once you've got both of those metal straps reinserted into the wiper, then it's just a matter of sliding it into place, starting at the end that doesn't have that arrowhead shape because that's the one that slides freely, and then ending up at the other end where it's gonna click into place, and I'll show that to you in two seconds. So, you take the wiper, you'll notice that it's got all these little teeth along the armatures, and that is where you need to slide the grooves. Now once you've got it into the last one, you'll notice that at this part, it's now blocked. That's because there's that little rubber edge that prevents it from sliding back out. Now the nice thing about this is that when you push it into place, there we go, it takes a little bit of effort. Once you've done that, you'll notice that it is clipped. That no longer slides out and is done. Now you just have to reinsert it into the car and you've got a new wiper. Now that you've replaced the rubber blade on your wiper and it's ready to go back in the car, it's just a question of doing the reverse of what I showed you. So let me show you how to stick this back on the car. Start with the wiper at a slight angle to the wiper arm. Insert the rounded tip into the opening and bring it down to a point where this little piece goes underneath. Then slide it up completely so that you're able to bring the catch back down and lock it back into place. Once that's done, all you have to do is drop the arm back gently onto the windshield and you're done. You've got a fresh blade, it's cost you a fraction of the money and you're not throwing trash into the garbage for no reason. Just a quick note before I continue with the subject at hand, I thought I'd let you know in case you weren't aware that I have an Instagram account where I post behind the scenes pictures as well as some images of upcoming video subjects and other EV and some non-EV related things that may be of interest to you. I also have an Evolution Facebook page where I post links to articles that are EV related as well as some other images and if you have any questions, you can ask me there. And in case you feel like binge watching my videos and cringing at some of the earlier ones like I do, you can visit my website, evolution.ca, and see them all embedded there in chronological order. I also have all of my Instagram pictures below those videos, so if you don't have an Instagram account, you can see the pictures there. I decided to contact my local Hyundai and Kia dealers to find out what the part numbers were for a couple different models of the cars that are available. So you'll be able to use those, I'll put them in the description below, so that you'll be able to order refills for your model of car. If it's not listed, then please feel free to call your dealer and find out what's available. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that there were two maintenance items that you could do yourself at home to save some money, and I had two items in my hand. I had the wipers that I had shown you, and I had one of these as well. Now, if you want to know what this is and how to save some money, well, you're going to have to be patient because this video would have been 20 minutes if I had not split it up. So I decided to keep this for a surprise for my next video, which will come out in one week. So stick around, make sure you've clicked the subscribe button, and make sure you've got the notification bell checked off if you don't want to miss it. Even though I haven't posted a video in a month and a half like I just mentioned, you've all been amazing. In my last video I mentioned that I wanted to get to 5,000 subscribers for my next personal subscription goal on the way to 10,000 by the end of the year. Well, I'm a little bit behind in terms of my subscriber count to get to that 10,000, but I'm this close to 5,000. If you like this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button and checking off the notification bell so that you find out when my next video goes live because my schedule is kind of not a schedule. So thank you very much if you've already done that and if you haven't and you are about to, 
thanks, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, and I've got a whole bunch, I just need to find time to make those videos, then put them in the comment section below. And as always, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence, and this is my channel about the perspect about the perspective. <laughs> no. Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence, and this is my channel about like a deer in headlights. Step one is to raise the wiper arm. Now make sure your hood is completely closed when you do this because you don't want to scratch the paint. The clé, the clé, the clé. I want to let you know that I've got an Instagram page that you can follow and get pictures of upcoming videos. Ah, crap. I want to let you know that I've got an Instagram page that lets you, I've got an Instagram account. Sound like a grandpa.